everyone welcome to our channel in this channel we will talk more about mid server we will navigate through the modules and we will see what all we need for the installation and uh, how to validate uh, what user role is required when we have to create user for the mid server etc let's proceed let's go in the app, lab, app application navigator sorry and type mid server first we need to create the user for mid server and for that we will go to sysuser.list for mid server you need to create a user with the role of mid server so for that let's click on new from the user table and let's create a user or mid server i will name it mid server user let first name it mid server user okay let's save it and now as we talked about it we will assign role of mid server so we will type mid server and as you can see mid server role let's bring it here in the rules list and save so we have assigned mid server role to the mid server user for For real-time use, you should know that it is always recommended to create a mid-server group, add the user to the group, and then assign the mid-server role to the group. But here, we will just proceed with this. And now, let's navigate to mid-server. If you see uh, under the application navigator, you can see under mid server, there is installation instructions and downloads. If you click on downloads, you can see that we have two options, Windows operating system mid server downloads and Linux operating system mid server download option. If you click right here, in the checkbox below you have the option to download mid server as a zip file for linux or windows operating system whatever is required it is always recommended to download mid server for the windows operating system because uh, in that case you will be able to discover both windows and linux devices but if you download linux uh, for uh, mid server for linux operating system in that case uh, it restricts discovery of any windows devices so it is always recommended uh, if you have both the types of devices in your organization you should go with downloading mid server for the Windows operating system so that you can discover Windows and Linux both type of device. For this video, I already have a mid server that we will work with to see how mid server is validated. So when we click on mid server under discovery, you can see all your mid servers in this table. Select the mid server and go to actions button click on validate and this will start validating your mid server after some time we can just refresh and see so the status is already showing up we just need to validate you should know that using the same process you can validate mid servers which are under maintenance or which has been compromised from doing any task 
uh, on ECC queue. So now we will refresh and see if it is validated and yes you can see your mid server that has been installed windows mid server is validated bingo we will navigate to mid server dashboard so you can see under mid server dashboard you will click and here we have mid server dashboard here you can monitor the mid server uh, ongoing activities here in the dashboard it displays information like mid server status mid server issues and in the performance tab average percentage of cpu used average percentage of maximum memory used and here you can come and review how is your mid, mid server performing? So, uh, this is all about this video. We have learned about how to validate mid server, where to go for installation. We have learned about what is uh, mid server installation under Windows operating system and what is mid server installation under Linux operating system. What is the difference between the two? We have also navigated through the dashboard of the mid server. We have created user and seen what role is required to create a mid server user. I hope you like this video and we will keep coming up with some more informative videos on different other topics for service now. Um, if you like this video, hit like button, subscribe to our channel and yes, we will see you in the next video. Thank you.